This week on New Now Next Pop Lab. Not only is it fashion, but it's protection. Photographers, models, and the bitchiest fashion people I have ever seen. Did you see that bitch fling his fake fur in my face? Fashion makes me horny too. The theme of the show is strange fruit. I'm thinking kumquat. Pop Lab, Tuesday at 7, only on Logo. The secret to making fashion edgy and new is adding a blonde piece to your wardrobe, number one, and number two, accessorize. It goes with my mantra, which is more is more. I love things that are sparkly, glitter, rhinestones, leather, fringe, feathers. In this course, it took so much time for the blondes to make. It's metal mesh with rhinestones and spikes, and that's why some of their biggest fans are Rihanna, Madonna, and Lady Gaga. I took a sneak peek at some of the outfits. They have lots of sequins, but also kind of sharp claws and spikes and things. What's that about? I feel like women today have highly evolved defense systems, you know, so we thought about creatures in nature that have this, that either have, like, giant feathers to scare off predators or, you know, camouflage. Where do you draw your inspiration from? I draw it from, you know, just old Hollywood movies, music, David Blonde. Your man. My man. This is Mike Diamond with Philippe Blonde, and I'm going to run out and get myself a white blonde afro as soon as the show's over. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. This is Mike Diamond with my sparkly vinyl Wonder Woman bracelet feeling fashion. Sequence is uh, hot this year. Why now? So we had a down season, the recession and everything, so we need to dress up. I am almost speechless. When Philippe came out in that gorilla coat, circa Uma Thurman in um, Batman and she's Poison Ivy, I almost died. I could have died. Sparkles, glitter, fabulous, everything over the top and never enough. I have, actually have an adrenaline rush right now. The show was a stellar success of glitter and talons and feather and fur, and that was just me in my seat. And now, the after party. Jerry, what is fashion all about? Look at me! This is fashion, darling! Are those like little, little babies? Babies! In the fashion world, strange is normal, black is white, and up is down. And also, I'm fat and 100 years old. Let me give me like Leprechaun meets like Cheetah Rivera here. Oh, hi! Hi, how are you? Are you still horny? Yes, I'm horny, always. <laughs> Are you afraid of catching bird flu? <laughs> it's a gummy ring. So is that like for <laughs> Bob who are super sensitive? Oh my god, get out of here. Fashion is my life. It's kind of a bizarro world, the fashion world, and that's why I love it so. It's very Cruella de Vil. There's some animal madness happening, and of course, the wonderful crystals the blondes always use. How can people in Middle America translate your sparkly fashion ideas into their everyday life? They can always throw a little sequence on every now and then, a little sparkly nail. It, is that jungle, uh, jungle red? red. Yeah. Or, you know what? Get a corset. Do you know why I love this particular outfit? It says, don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Wear that sequin jacket. Have a good time. Who cares? Live it up. I think that you should just be yourself. If you don't have that much money, make things. Go to your local Michaels, pick up some glitters, and have fun with them. And if you're not ready to go to school with your glitter on, you can always have fun in your bathroom after school. Mm. I know I did. <laughs> you are so dirty. All means, if you have $3,000 to indulge in a pair of fabulous shoes, do it. You know what I love about you? You're blatantly shallow. <laughs> This is Mike Diamond at Richie Rich's Fall 2010 show for his line, Amuse. Offer teacher, baby. Everybody wants something fun in life. What is the secret to Richie Rich's success? Um, I think he's kind of like the Paris Hilton of the gay fashion world. Beachwear, swimwear, zip-up hoodies, and graphic tees. We are animal friendly, but as organic as we can be. Still not lose like the, the tongue-in-cheek feeling of it all. There's a lot of cheeks on the runway, too. You'll love it. Wait to see the guys. And Pamela is your muse for the show. Yeah, we totally came up with it together. She's, she's probably one of the nicest people you could ever meet. Now, Pam, you're an icon for the gays. Why do the gays love you so much? Because I'm a gay man trapped in this body with these, these, and plastic shoes. Mine are real pants are fake. <laughs> so you're a gay man trapped in a woman's body. I am. That makes two of us. <laughs>